chips and dips. Um, yeah, so chips and dips. Chips and dips. Um, chip and dip. It's basically a platter with a little bowl in the middle. A nice, easier cleaning one would just be to throw a platter and to throw a bowl and kind of fit them together. That way you can clean the platter and the bowl separately. But another way is to throw them all in one piece. So for this, I'm going to pretty much use the whole bat here and yeah just make some chip and dip platter just uh, seal the clay down to the bat lift it up this is five fish pounds five six five and a half I think um, That's quite a lot of clay for something like this, but it was like the end of the bag, and I didn't want like a little scrap in it, so I um, decided to just use it all. Might be like a really huge chip and dip. We'll see. can't really trim these that well. You could throw a uh, chuck and trim it on a chuck, but uh, I mean, I guess you could make the dip bowl smaller than the chip bowl um, and you could flip it upside down and trim it, but we'll see what happens here. Just kind of explore the form and see what takes shape. So, just uh, centering low and uh, going into like a plate form here because, I mean, at the heart of it, it's a platter. So, when you're centering low and flat, uh, compressions on the compression on the side is a requirement, and you just push down in the middle and kind of move the clay out to the side. So I'm just gonna do that. That's the end of my bat. So I will start making the chip part. I'm just moving some clay. Made it a little bit too thick on the outside here, so I'm just going to move some clay into the middle. So we have more room or more uh, clay for the dip bowl. Yeah. Just kind of moving the clay from the outside, pushing down and in, moving it to the end. Try to stack it up here. All right. So, just 
pushing it into a uh, platter here, compressing from the outside in. Try to get it nice and uh, flat in the platter part here. Move some clay into the middle. And I open up the middle here. bowl in a bowl. So uh, open it up and uh, down to where the, the platter is so that way uh, you got the same um, thickness. And then we will pull up a bowl out of this middle hunk here. So just uh, open it up into a bowl shape. We have one more kind of pull out of this. We can thin it out there just a bit. There we go. Just make the inside part nice and bowly. That'll hold an amount of dip. And then for the chip part, what we're going to do is we're going to compress this area here with a rib because uh, it might be hard to get into once. Uh, anyway, we're going to compress this inner part with a rib. Well, we can still access it. Um, just yeah, just uh, run your rib in there. Uh, I've got this little wooden rib. It's a Kemper uh, small kidney, and um, it works. Really, I, I really like this rib. Um, it's not too big. Still, um, still works really well. All right, so we're just gonna get all the loose stuff off of this uh, outer rim here before we start pulling it. So I'm just gonna pull this outer part into a bowl too. This is going to be where the chips reside in the chip and dip bowl. So we're just going to bring it out and up. I like the look of it when the chip or the dip part is taller than the chip part, but I might I might just. Uh, Make it a standard one with the uh, outer bowl bigger than the inner bowl, you know, so you can hold more chips. I don't know if that's going to help you out when you're uh, eating chips if there's more chip room and less dip room. It seems to me that you'd. Uh, maybe run out of dip before you run out of chips, but whatever. Standard forms and whatnot. So here's our chip part of the chip and dip. I don't have any more clay to work with on the outer bowl, so I might just flatten this inner bowl out a bit. So we're going to kind of 
clean this up, smooth it out. I'm going to trim some of this foot off here. Um, so in case this doesn't fit on a fit on my wheel head after it's dry, um, I won't have to trim it with a sure foam. A sure foam. Which is a pain in the butt. If you ever miss your trimming deadline on stuff and it gets a little bit too hard to trim, uh, you can always use a sure form. Uh, I, I have the mud tools version. It's like a It's just a, it's basically like a cheese grater for clay. It's just a small one. And if your clay is too hard to trim on the wheel, you can trim it with this, like a rough trim, and then just go back over it with something finer. Um, but yeah, cool. a little tip there. Anyway, we're gonna uh, just uh, shape this and Remove the slip from the outside here. No big deal. Just making a nice form. Get the inside too. Touch this dip ball up just to get rid of the slip on the outside of it. And then we're going to hit the whole thing with a sponge. Okay. Inner bowl. Outer bowl. Get rid of that slip. And then grab our chamois and just chamois both of them. Nice smooth uh, rims on these. And there you have it. Chip and dip. So you put your dip in the inside, you put your chips around the outside, and you go to town over some TV or whatnot. Um, yep. Um, nothing too complicated about it. You know, just uh, saving some room in the inner part for the, uh, the ball to go. Other than that, it's, uh, it's basically a plate. Don't get too um, too daunted by forms. They're often uh, decomposable into just a you know one or two forms combined. Like this is. Uh, This is a bowl and a, a platter, or a plate, mixed together. You just don't turn the outside of the plate down. Yeah. There you go. Thanks for watching.